This video is supported by RoboRace, the first AI, autonomous, and electric racing series. If you remember what happened last year with Tesla's production hell followed by logistics hell and Elon's tweet that failed to privatize Tesla, you know how much Tesla has gone through in 2018. It was hard, but Tesla pushed through. Currently making over 6,000 Model 3s per week, production is right on track. Expansion in China is progressing smoothly, and Tesla is making strides in building great computer chips for autopilot. 2019 was supposed to be easy, but right now, it doesn't feel that way. In just a month time, 9 billion of Tesla's stock value is wiped out, and the recent combination of Tesla's autopilot and fire accident brought Tesla once again to the teeth of the storm. Where is Tesla heading? The Shanghai Gigafactory and the competitive Chinese market might be able to show Tesla the way. The most obvious manifestation of Tesla's current problem is its stock price. It's clear that Tesla is losing investor support. In the past two months, Tesla's stock has dropped by an absolute value of 9 billion US dollars. That's one third of Tesla's total market capitalization wiped out. And that is not all. What's more of a problem is that this drop in investor confidence is happening despite Tesla's steady production increase. To be fair, Tesla's production ramp up is not bad increased about 30% since the beginning of the year. With 6,000 Model 3s produced every week, Tesla is on track to reach its production target for 2019, which is 360,000 and 400,000 cars. That's a pretty healthy number. What Tesla now produces in half a year is its entire 2014, 2015, and 2016 productions combined. But apparently for Tesla's investors, that's not enough especially with the lackluster demand of Tesla cars in China. Something has changed. Another Tesla problem that deteriorated the entire situation is the two accidents involving Tesla cars. Just in a month time, a video of a Tesla Model S caught fire in Shanghai went viral in the Chinese social media, in an autopilot era that was confirmed to have caused another death in the United States, similar to a previous autopilot accident in 2016. To be fair, Various models of Tesla are still the safest cars ever built according to statistics out there, but coupled with the autonomous driving technology, stories of Tesla car crashing captured people's imagination, activating the skeptic animal instinct that was buried deep inside of our brains. So it is safe to conclude that Tesla's current problem, although manifested as a financial problem, in fact reflect a deeper distrust of Tesla's sales production and technical capability. Can Tesla's demand in China rise? Can Tesla produce enough cars to generate a healthy cash flow? And finally, is Tesla's battery and autonomous driving technology as impressive as Elon stated? These are the questions that are haunting investors, lowering Tesla's stock price and causing Tesla problems. But before I start explaining why China could be of help, let's be clear of one thing. Tesla is not in financial trouble as some industry analysts alarmed. It is also not going to run out of cash as Elon suggested because investors and companies are literally lining up to throw money at Tesla. Tesla will survive just fine. Nevertheless, Tesla in my opinion is going through a serious test right now. The outcome of the test hinges upon whether Tesla can prove to the world two things. First, whether Tesla can make the transition to become a mass market OEM producing at least 5 million cars a year, and second, whether its autonomous driving technology can unlock the potential Elon suggested. China can help with both. And let's explain them one by one. Shanghai Gigafactory was introduced last year and it broke grounds on the 7th January this year. In only 5 months time, if you look at Shanghai Gigafactory construction, its exterior is almost complete, and the works are now moving to the interiors. This means Tesla's production schedule in China is on track, and therefore, Possibly, we'll see Model 3s coming out of Shanghai production line by September this year. We know the Chinese constructions are fast, so no surprises there. But what most people don't know is that the Chinese manufacturing capability is also top-notch, especially when it comes to electric vehicles. China has the world's most complete supply chain of electric cars. Many of the world's biggest suppliers and OEMs of electric cars are in China. Starting from the market side, EV sales in China was over a million units in 2018. With such huge demand for electric cars comes world-leading OEMs like BYD, Geely, and BAIC. It's important to note that these companies are less famous than Toyota, GM, and Volkswagen, 
but much bigger portions of their businesses are electric. BYD, for example, sold over 250,000 electric vehicles in 2018, more than that of Tesla. Therefore, under the assumption that EVs are the future of transportation, it's more accurate to think of them as the Japanese auto companies in the 1960s, on the brink of global expansion. Japanese high-quality car dominated the US market due to its better quality and supply chain management, but for these Chinese companies, it would have been their preparation for the electric future. These companies are called OEMs, Original Equipment Manufacturers, they make cars. The Chinese control over EV, however, reaches the entire value chain. Therefore, it's natural that we now move on to talk about Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3 suppliers. This is where China excels. Tier 1 suppliers manufacture an entire system that is to be used in a car. NVIDIA, for example, is a Tier 1 supplier to auto companies. Its DrivePX2 autonomous driving platform is used widely in the industry. Tier 2 suppliers make parts for Tier 1 suppliers, and Tier 3 are raw material suppliers. China now has the most complete supply chain covering all tiers when it comes to making EVs. Taking battery production as an example, it is the hardest part to make. But in China, there are battery makers like CATL and BYD taking around 25% of the market share. And globally, two-thirds of the lithium-ion batteries used in cars are manufactured in China. Therefore, with China's supply chain expertise, it is understandable that Tesla will benefit from its production in China. Not only that, it is reported by South China Morning Post that China has cracked cheap lithium production in electric cars, lowering lithium production cost to around $2,000 per ton, one-tenth the industry standard. Tesla already is making its lithium-ion batteries at an industry leading $100 per kilowatt hour. Imagine how much Tesla could save operating in China with cheaper lithium supplies. The gist is this. In China, where EV productions are hugely supported, Chinese companies have already taken care of every link in the EV supply chain, from its materials to parts to systems. Elon doesn't have to personally visit Chile to secure materials ever again. This is the production benefit of Tesla operating in China, pushing Tesla one step closer to its mass market status. Tesla's demand, however, is trickier to explain. One obvious benefit of China is that it has the biggest electric vehicle market in the world. In fact, China's EV sales in 2018 is greater than the rest of the world combined. Chinese people are supportive of EV, and as the Chinese does not have a long history of driving cars, they do not have an attachment to the gas cars tradition like in the United States. Therefore, whether Tesla will be as popular in China as it is in the Bay Area, it's entirely up to Tesla's marketing team. This is what I think a great asset test that will give Tesla a more accurate sense of its product appeal. If Tesla can prove its superior appeal in the general public in China, who until now has no idea what Tesla is, it would be a promising sign. Tesla has recently launched Model 3 pre-order in China, with base Model 3 selling at 46,000 US dollars. This will be an important test for Tesla's mass market appeal. Finally, it's about technology. Here we focus on battery technology and autonomous driving technology, two biggest deciding technologies for the future of EVs. Coincidentally, also at the center of the storm when it comes to recent controversies. The first one is a Tesla Model S caught fire on camera, reviving doubts over the safety of lithium ion batteries. And the second one points to Tesla's insufficient autopilot system. However, if we look at the numbers closely, it is clear that the batteries are still superior comparing to gas cars in terms of the likelihood of self-ignition. Therefore, the autopilot problem is much more serious. For one thing, the recent autopilot situation might be avoided if a LiDAR system is available on Tesla. Elon has long been a vocal adversary of LiDAR on a car, calling it a fool's errand. But in the situations arose recently where Tesla drove into a truck because of the lack of detection, clearly LiDAR could have helped. To understand the ethical dimension of the issue, we need to understand how autonomous cars work. Put it simply, there are two components to a powerful autonomous driving system, the sensors and the brain. The sensors are the eyes of the car, constantly monitoring road situations, mapping surroundings so that the brain can make correct decisions. Therefore, the more information sensors gather, the more information the brain can process. For Tesla, those sensors include cameras, radars, as well as sonars. But this is where the problem starts. One critical component of autonomous driving system is neglected. 
the LiDAR. It is argued that LiDAR is not a necessity of autopilot, rather it's a redundancy and there is some truth in it. Therefore, the way for Tesla to solve this problem in my opinion involves the other part of an autonomous driving system, the brain. This is where China could help tremendously. The brain involves two components, the physical processor and the computer algorithm. Computer algorithm requires a lot of training datasets to be accurate. Tesla wants to test its autonomous driving algorithms under various conditions to make sure it performs. For example, this autonomous race car designed by RoboRace is running algorithms written by researchers at Technical University of Munich under extreme conditions. Tesla potentially can test its own algorithm here to understand how Tesla performs under high speed and when performing sharp turns. Coming back to China, not only is the Chinese market big enough to get Tesla the training set needed, the government is supportive of the initiative and is already planning to launch autonomous taxis in the coming years. Autonomous taxis are two birds with one stone. Not only will Tesla get valuable training data, it also helps Tesla understand the feasibility of its robo-taxi business model. No doubt Tesla's recent trouble is exaggerated by the 24-hour news cycle that we're living now. But as someone who's for autonomous future 100%, it is also my job to caution us that there are things Tesla need to take note of, such as spending more effort in increasing its productions, taking advantage of the newly established Shanghai Gigafactory to test its autonomous driving systems even further to accelerate the advent of our sustainable future. When it comes to the technical aspect of a competent autonomous driving systems, it is very important to have it tested under changing environments. As I mentioned, this footage right now is testing a particular autonomous driving algorithm built by engineers and researchers at Technical University of Munich on a racetrack in Germany. This race car is called DevBot, designed specifically to help engineers build a better autonomous driving algorithm that performs under extreme conditions, such as this racing condition. RoboRace is the company behind this project, and it is the world's first AI, driverless and electric racing series, a competition for human and machine teams, using both self-driving and manually controlled cars. What I love about this company is its tremendous focus on technology and enabling engineers around the world to make better autonomous driving systems with their proprietary hardware and software platform. One thing you would notice about their race cars is that they use NVIDIA drive platforms and NVIDIA Tegra chips to run software algorithms. These are the platforms running on many Tesla cars right now, and this shows RoboRace commitment to building technologies that are road relevant, accelerating the advent of the autonomous future. Promoting intelligent driving by developing a fun and engaging entertainment event and media platform. If you want to know more about how autonomous driving systems work, I'll leave a few links down below for you to check out. They have even videos in 360 so you can experience the technology up close. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.